When is the best time to implement the BMS standards? Hello and welcome to Sika University. Today's topic is when should your company implement the BMS? In this video, we will discuss first the reasons why companies implement the business message suite, BMS. Then we'll explore the when to implement question. And lastly, we will address what Sika has for you to assist in your implementations. First, let me enumerate some of the reasons why companies implement the Business Message Suite, BMS. The major reason is to safely manage private data, to fulfill your legal obligation to protect your customers' data. Privacy is a major concern in today's world. The BMS allows you to share only the data required data with your trading partner. The EMS transmits all the data. The EMS is unsafe. The EMS delivery mechanism is to write the files into a directory. Now, doing so, you have no control who is reading the files and data, nor is it possible to know. This is goes against your interest and the interest of your customers. Additionally, there is still significant redundant data entry in the industry which should be removed. Implementing the BMS allows best-of-class choice. The BMS has a broader data set with over seven times the amount of data to address industry requirements. So when is the best time to implement the BMS? We at Sika are biased, so from our perspective, any time is the best time. However, we realize that you and your company are constrained by budget and time. So when is the best time to implement the BMS? Well, the answer is straightforward. Anytime you modify or change the program associated with the EMS is the time to replace the EMS with the BMS. That can happen at new feature additions, a minor software release of your application, or a major software release of your application. Definitely anytime there is a major rewrite. So what does Sika have for you to assist in your implementation? Besides the base documentation contained in the release package, the BMS, the schemes, the code lists, and the implementation guides, there are three documents to assist you. Understanding the BMS, which will provide a high-level description of all the business message suite messages. The next document is the EMS to BMS mapping, which provides a one-to-one, -one, step-by-step mapping of all the individual data elements. And lastly, a document describing a plan to migrate from the EMS to BMS in an orderly manner. Sika knows that each company has its individual characteristics and environment. The documents provide a framework to accomplish a successful implementation. That concludes this program. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact Fred Iantorno by email at fred at sika.com or by calling 847-498-6945.